in Onshape, you can create a pattern of features in a part studio. Here I am in a part studio with a single part. Let's start off by creating a brand new feature. I will click on the sketch tool and pick a sketch plane. And for the shape of my feature, I'm going to use the offset command and then pick the surface that I want to offset. Let's flip the direction to the outside and let me zoom in to get to the dimension. Just try and drag it out and double click on the value, plug in a number and that's good for my sketch. Let's hit the check mark. Now that I have the sketch, let's use the extrude tool and let me flip the direction. I like the depth that they gave me. So let's just hit the check mark to complete the feature. Oops. Let's select the extrude and edit. And I accidentally created a new solid. Let's click add. And the merge scope is good. Now let's hit the check mark. There we go. Now I have my feature belonging to my single part. To create a pattern, you can use this icon. There's a drop down, and from this group of icons, you can create a linear pattern, a circular pattern, or a curve pattern. In this video, we are just doing a linear pattern. And here we have the dialog box. First thing to note is that you can create three different kinds of patterns part patterns, feature patterns, and face patterns. If you want to pattern a feature, be sure to change the selection from the drop down list. Then I will pick the extrude. Now we need to choose the pattern direction. So I'll click in the collector and I'll just pick this top surface. Right now the feature is going in the wrong direction. Let's flip to the opposite direction and get a little more distance between them. And for the number of instances, let's change this to 13. And you can see right now the features are in red, meaning that there is an issue with them. And so if you hover your mouse over the feature, it says, hey, it could not create all instances as entered. Try selecting apply per instance option. So this option will regenerate each individual instance as opposed to just duplicating the original. And that looks good. There are a couple of other different options in here. In a moment, I will show centered and you also have second direction. So a pattern in one direction is like creating a vector or an array of instances. A pattern with a second direction is like creating a matrix or table of the different instances. So this is good for the first pattern. Let's hit the check mark and you can see what I have created over here. Now to show you the centered option, I'm actually going to delete these two features. Let's hit the delete button and let's delete the extrude. Ah, I don't need this sketch anymore. Let's delete it as well. And I'm going to start off by creating a new plane to sketch on. Let me first show one of my other planes. Hit the plane tool. I'm going to start off by creating a plane using this plane as a reference and this other surface as a reference. And I'm going to change the plane type from offset to mid plane. Just give myself a sketch plane sort of in the middle of the straight portion of the geometry. Let's hit the check mark and hide the plane that I no longer need. Now let's create a sketch on this particular surface. And right now I am going to use the same command as before. Let's do the offset. And for the edges, let's just use this plane as a reference. Let's flip the direction. Let's drag it out just so I can make it big enough and double click on the number, plug in a value, hit the check mark. And now that I have my sketch, let's create an extrude and select what I want to extrude. And we have a blind depth of one in a particular direction. Let's change the depth. Maybe I want to use symmetric so that half is on one side of the sketch plane, half is on the other. So this is good. Let's hit the check mark for the new extrude. Let's hide the plane. 
And now I can create another pattern. Again, I will go to the linear pattern command. And for the linear pattern, instead of creating parts, I'm going to use a feature pattern to select the pattern that I want to feature, or excuse me, the feature I want to pattern. I'll select that feature. Then for the direction, I'll pick this top surface here in the model. Once again, let's apply per instance. Let's change the distance so that we have a little bit of separation between them. And right now, my instance count is two. When I check the option for centered, we're going to get another additional instance. So with the centered option, it's going to create instances in both directions. And this instance count includes the original instance as the first one in each direction. So that's why we have an instance count of two, which is two upwards including the original and two downwards including the original so for example if i change this instance count from two to three now we'll have a total of three upwards including the original and three downwards including the original uh, let's try value of six uh, maybe one more let's try value of seven and i like that one so let's hit the check mark and in that way, we were able to create a linear pattern of instances in one direction, as well as creating them centered about the original instance. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.careowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.